Doesn't that look good? That's my crispy tandoori chicken recipe with a little curry dip. I smoked it, but you can do it in the oven too. Crispy tandoori chicken. I've been cooking this for 20 years now. I normally spin it over charcoal on a rotisserie. Um, today I'm going to smoke it. You can do it in the oven. Um, it's your choice, however you want to cook it. But the secret is you want to get this flavor right down to the bone. So the minimum marination time for this is six hours, but I'm going to go for 18 to get it right in there. If you'd like to make your own curry, um, you'd do two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of coriander, and two teaspoons of chili powder and a little bit of salt. And you can put some cayenne or some heat or whatever you like in there. But today I've got, I've got some commercial brands. This is Sharwood's, Mild, uh, Curry Powders, Tandoori. I'm gonna go with a spicy one today. I've got two tablespoons of curry powder and a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. I have a one inch knob of ginger, diced or minced, and three cloves of garlic, minced, and two tablespoons of onion, and it's diced. A quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. I've got a half cup of full fat yogurt. And to make it look like authentic tandoori, I'm gonna put a little bit of red food coloring in here. Give it some nice color. We're just gonna mix all that up. There, you can see what that looks like. Now I'm going to take three pounds of chicken. I'm using thighs today, skin on thighs. And I'm going to put three slits, about a half inch deep, right in the, into the chicken like this. And you can see, you can see what that looks like. I do that to all of them. There we go. We've got slits in all of the chicken now. So what I'm going to do is take a Ziploc bag and put the chicken in. There we go. And now I'm just gonna pour the marinade in, burp the air out, and just massage the, uh, the chicken till it's totally covered. I'm gonna put this into the, into the fridge. Minimum six hours. You wanna get that flavor right down into the bone. I'm gonna go 18 hours and then smoke it as I mentioned. So look at that, looks pretty good. Into the fridge. Well, I got a really good marinade into this tandoori chicken. I normally smoke it, but um, today I'm going to do it on the grill and I'm going to use a smoker box. And this is what the little uh, pellets look like. Just little food grade pellets. These are apple for example. So this will just go on to the grill and smoke the chicken. You could even cook this chicken in the microwave if you want. I call that chicken ding ding. You put it in, when it goes ding, it's ready. Chicken ding ding. And then I would put it in a frying pan and just kind of crisp up the skin. It's a, it's a really good result too. So I'm going to take this chicken out and put it into a pan. There are different ways of doing this. Um, I'm trying to give you the easiest way. Um, a lot of people have asked me over the years, how do you cook chicken on the barbecue without burning it and everything? I'm gonna suggest a pan. We put it in a pan and we cook it to the proper temperature. And then what we do is we take it out, we dip it in butter, and we put a really nice crunchy skin on it. And then we'll do one more step after that. There, I've got the chicken on the tray now. Uh, practice a little social distancing. And um, I'm gonna put this in at 350 degrees for about, about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. I'll put my little smoker box in too. This tandoori chicken smells really good. I checked it with my Thermapen and I took it up to 160 degrees. And what I'm going to do now is take them off and dip them in butter and then put them back on for the last stage. There, you can see what that looks like. That looks really good. Now, I'm just going to take a piece like this and that's, that's butter and garlic salt and some cayenne pepper and a couple of chili flakes and it's all melted. And you just kind of skate the, uh, the skin around in that. And then we're going to cook that direct. Watch it really closely so it doesn't burn, but we want to get a little bit of char into it. See what that looks like? That looks really good, but we're just going to put a little bit of char. I'm starting to get a little tear in my eye. I don't know if it's from the smoke of the chicken, how good this stuff looks. Look at that, that looked good. And uh, don't worry, I won't waste that butter. And the last thing that I do, and always this flavor separation is, um, you know, salt and pepper right at the very end. It'll kind of melt in. And you can serve this with some lime, which is really good too. But I've got a uh, curry dip here. And uh, the recipe for that is below in the uh, show me more notes. And uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe.
Thanks for watching.